Originally, we were uh, looking into an invention that was for the developing world. Uh, so we had many ideas that we were trying to come up with, and uh, one of the ideas that stuck out in our head was the idea of developing a machine that was for uh, the processing of food. We started out with a uh, de-huller for rice, and then we said, well, wait a minute, and we got a contact uh, from the National Sorghum Producers, and we asked him, he had been in the Peace Corps in Africa, and we asked him, what do the people really eat there? And he said, it's not rice. The poorest of the poor will eat sorghum and millet. In the U.S., sorghum is used for animal feed and bird seed, so we didn't expect it to be eaten by people. This is what's called a pestle, and this is what is used to uh, process the sorghum. The sorghum is put in a big bowl sort of object called a mortar and the women and children of sub-Saharan Africa basically take this stick and they just pound it into, they pound the sorghum in the bowl to take the seeds off of the stem. Basically it takes off the little seeds and sorts them from all this plant matter, like the things that are falling off are called glooms. They're basically like the outside, like the kind of like a covering around the seed. So when you thresh it, all of this becomes into one big pile. You end up throwing it into the air and letting the wind take care of the actual debris. Well, we can't do that. We're not going to use that because we want to mechanize the process. James Wattel, he um, was in the lab one time and he took a sorghum panicle and fed it through a vacuum cleaner. I ran over my toe with a vacuum cleaner, and when I was looking at the vacuum cleaner, um, I said, hey, look at this. Uh, look at how the brushes spin. And so uh, I, I uh, went to our team and I said, I ha think I have a, an idea. We had this umbrella of mercy where we would not make, we promise not to ridicule anybody's design ideas. At first I said, what are you doing? <laughs> There's seeds flying everywhere. But, uh, and I watched and it actually cleaned uh, the sorghum right off the panicle. It worked quite well. So we said, let's make a prototype. Our final idea, which we actually just came up with a brainstorming, was a fluidizing bed. So what happens is the actual airstream flows through the actual grating, and that creates a fluid type bed on top of the actual grate where the seeds are sitting and falling onto. So what happens is the actual seeds, because they're heavier and more aerodynamic, fall through the grate and out into a bucket where they're collected, and the larger materials, such as the branches, uh, the tinier glooms or trash, are blown out of the machine because they're less aerodynamic and lighter. We looked into like uh, hand cranks. Uh, we also looked into ways of maybe a uh, treadling system or a way of stepping on pedals to power. But we found that the bicycle motion was the best overall. They take a panicle of sorghum and they feed it into the, um, into the mouth of the thresher and they turn it so that all sides of the panicle are actually threshed. So in, um, there's a drum and inside the drum is like another drum with spikes and there's spikes on the inside of, the, of both of the drums and they mesh. So you get the sorghum and it just basically gets ripped apart. It was very exciting. Uh, we, up until this point, we knew that all the parts by themselves, like the threshing drum and the pedal power and the sorting mechanisms would all work. We weren't sure if they would all work together. So uh, it was quite exciting to actually see it move and actually thresh a panicle. I can't stress how much a team is actually helping because if you try to attempt this yourself, you just don't have the brain power and the, the skills that everybody actually brings to the team. I think a big part of it is kind of the camaraderie that you feel with fellow inventors. All the people on this team are people like me who want to be scientists, who want to go into science, who like to invent, who like to build things with their hands. I think the key is uh, to never give up when uh, something goes wrong. Uh, we've had plenty of times where Things went wrong and uh, we didn't give up. We, you know, found a new way around it and made something new and tried to build that. The impact of the machine, we hope, is to free up more time for people to become entrepreneurs in their own businesses and be able to use the machine for uh, their own uses and even even start their own businesses selling the grain. We just finished uh, building the prototype and we're really hoping to go to Africa to actually test it out.
My name is Marissa, and I'm an inventor. My name is Phyllis, and I am an inventor. I'm Tyler, and I'm an inventor. My name is David, and I'm an inventor. My name is James, and I am an inventor.